how do I describe abstract painting to a student? Oh, uh, not representational. Um, you don't identify to a shape in the normal way of identifying. So you definitely see shapes or lines or whatever, but you interpret. So abstract painting is an interpretation to each person looking at it. They have their own interpretation. So um, I teach my students just that whatever you do is great. It's your interpretation of something. And some people will get it and some people won't. What students go through in my class, probably first day, is total fear. Um, they see, I like to threaten them, not with a small piece of paper, a very large piece of paper. And so they're horrified, but I teach them not to be afraid. So that's really the first day, is whatever you do is great, because everything is art. And art is great. And just do it, don't be afraid. And then I teach them the steps of process of painting, underpainting, and to build. I'm right-handed, so this hand is very educated. So then imagine this, then having an extension of a twig, and then putting your brush on that. So all of a sudden your paintbrush is this long. And so you lose control of it. And your marks are not educated, they're totally random. So I try to teach my students randomness of painting, abstraction. It's not controlled, it's not a dead rabbit with flowers like the Dutch masters. It's really an experiment. So my philosophy in painting would be to then teach new ways to paint, not just a paintbrush. I paint with a twig and a brush. I have students use sponges, their hands, um, as I showed you, um, asphalt. I teach them, I have a glue that works really good, gel medium, and you can stick dishes, as Julian Schnabel did, a famous painter. Stick anything in and build. So um, I'm teaching them, again, so that helps not to be afraid. They can paint on wood, canvas, they can use anything, everything to paint with.